everyone and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today we're looking at the Colouring Heaven Calendar 2020. Now I'm really excited to show you this because all of the illustrations inside are exclusive designs that have been specially commissioned for this calendar. You're not going to find these illustrations anywhere else, online or otherwise. You'll only find them here and they are all absolutely stunning. Now they're not only by one illustrator, Oh no, we have 13 of the world's top colouring artists included in this calendar. So every single month when you flip over, you're getting a brand new illustration by a brand new illustrator. So it's not going to be the same style or the same person every single month. You're getting something totally different. So the biggest thing for me with this calendar is that it proudly supports the mental health charity Mind, something that's very close to my heart, being a sufferer of mental health issues myself. And 50 pence from every calendar sale will be donated to that very deserving charity. So I'm really stoked about that as well. So the calendar itself is 30 by 30 centimetres and it has a ring binding at the top, as you can see here. So you can just easily flip it over at the turn of every month. It's made with really thick, beautifully white and toothy card. So it's going to be perfect for pretty much any medium you decide to throw at it. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. So let's have a look at this titling. You can see the foiling here uh, is the standard typical foiling that we get on a Colouring Heaven edition every month. And then on the back, we've got a few little thumbnails of the images inside, but I don't want to spoil it for you. So I want to get straight into it and show you exactly what is on offer here. So let's have a look first of all oh there's a cardboard piece inside it just to quickly let you know that this piece is to keep the calendar from going all floppy in the, in transit but i actually use it as a board for underneath when i'm coloring so it kind of cushions my pencils or what what have you so yeah really good little hard piece of card there <laughs> anyway back to the calendar um so i'm just going to show you the date calendar area first so the very first page is for the final four months of this year 2019 and i'm really glad that they've done that actually and not just gone straight into january because it gives us something to color now and you know something to hang on our wall now we, we don't really want to put a calendar up four months early but you can do that do that because we have the final part of the year displayed here so as you can see it they're all kind of really small little um blocky calendars that you can just put you know little notes on and things like that it's not a full calendar but it's something to put on the wall anyway and also you do get an illustration to color as well so this is um created by desti at collateral damage studios and this illustrator was featured in a coloring heaven magazine called the anime special and i'll be putting a little thumbnail up of each and every single illustrator's uh, Colouring Heaven special in case you want to go ahead and buy a whole book full of their work. So yeah, this one is kind of in the anime style, that kind of manga comic book illustrative style. It's absolutely beautiful. And then I will show you what the normal calendar spread looks like. So I'm not going to show you this for every single one because they're all the same apart from, of course, the uh, the month changing. But the layout, as you can see, is this. So we've got Monday through Sunday. Now, there was a little bit of um, a debate on the Colouring Heaven page whether or not to start the calendar on a Sunday or a Monday. I think you guys in America start your calendars usually on Sundays. Um, and I think business calendars are often started on Sundays. But I have in the past had a Sunday calendar that started with a Sunday and I've actually missed appointments and got dates wrong because I'm so used to, you know, my, my week starts on a Monday. So um, I'm really glad that they've formatted it this way. Hopefully, if you normally have a Sunday calendar, you can you can get used to it. But uh, as you can see, you've got really, really large spaces to put your dates in so any kind of appointments and things that you've got to put down birthdays things like that you've got plenty of room to do so you have got pre-printed holidays so we've got new year's day we've got martin luther king day australia day and every single month you will be reminded when the new coloring heaven is going to be released so you'll never forget and then at the bottom here in the final two blocks we have the previous month and the following month in this very small format so that you can just cross off or ring any particularly important dates that you need to remember. So that is the layout of the, the practical bit of the calendar. 
here we go with the most important part though for me which is the creative side of the calendar this is the coloring page for january and this is by nalik shoemaker who did the recent sorcerers and sorceresses issue of coloring heaven and as you can see it's just a gorgeous illustration she has a kind of penchant for these beautifully dreadlocked warrior women it looks very kind of apache as well there's that influence there we've got the wolf um and then the background with it. it's kind of a cosmic background it's a bit celestial we've got the sky we've got the mountains as well beautiful beautiful illustration so that is for january now as i said i'm just going to flip over and show you all of the artwork because we know what the calendar looks like so just bear with me a second here we go for February. So this illustration is by Christine Caron, um, illustrator of the Fairies colouring books. And as you can see, it is a totally, totally different style to both of the illustrations that we've seen so far. So it's really cool to get something brand new and original and interesting every single month rather than, you know, the same illustrator, the same style uh, or what have you. So, yeah, gorgeous kind of fantasy world illustration you can see that this guy has got wings huge beautiful wings this girl's got a tail so you know obviously it's kind of mythical and fantastical and i just i think it's a beautiful illustration just on, on its own to be honest it's this gorgeous kind of romantic beautiful scene um so yeah i love it it looks like it's just been ripped out of christine's sketchbook it is gorgeous it looks just like it's been been done very quickly and organically and beautifully and you, it kind of just looks like a, you could erase it with a rubber it looks beautiful it, it's gorgeous so that's that one for February then we've got March so we're coming into the springtime now and you can see we've got the March hair we've got the daffodils we're all looking very fresh and spring-like and this illustration is of course by the wonderful Kelly O'Gorman one of my favorites um, you can always tell it's a Kelly O'Gorman illustration she just has this beautiful unique style and I absolutely adore her work. We've got some quite heavy shading on areas here showing you where to put your lights and darks. And yeah, it's just, an, again, another completely different style that you can get into. And uh, it would look beautiful with very, very bright, bold colours. I love pairing Kelly's artwork with bright colours. So that's that one for March. We've then got April. And again, something totally, totally different. This is very delicate very sweet little small thin lines and you know gorgeous charming uh, subject matter as well so we're into it was April wasn't it yeah April so well into the Easter time now we've got the little chicks the bunnies the carrots the Easter eggs in the nest and I love these little Easter eggs here they're sat in egg cups and we've got little flowers growing out of them really really sweet especially this chick down here that's got a bit of an acorn on top of his head. So yeah, really cute little fun, whimsical illustration by Kanoko Igusa. And as you'll have seen by now, I'm actually putting little thumbnails on the screen of every single Colouring Heaven issue that you will find this artist's work inside. So you can go ahead and order a back issue of their magazine if you wish. We then got the May illustration, which as you can see is the one that I've coloured. It is an illustration by Mika Jelena or Mika Jelena, I'm not sure how you say it. And I used Prismacolor pencils to colour the majority of this illustration. And as you can see, if I hold it up to the light, I've also used some absolutely stunning metallic paints for these wings. And those paints are right here. They're from KJ Design by Karen on Etsy. And I'm going to be reviewing these very, very soon over the next few days, actually. So do watch out for that review. They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at those. Handmade, hand poured, beautiful, beautiful metallic paints. So watch out for that review. But yeah, as you can see already, they blend absolutely beautifully and they shimmer gorgeously. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. It took a while to do. Um, I did it over a few days. Normally I like to bang my colouring out, you know, all in one go. And I don't like pages taking ages and ages. But this one took a while. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with how it turned out. I really wanted it to, to be spot on. So uh, I've got a little bit of ink residue on the skin but that's fine that's fine <laughs> yeah so I'm really really pleased with how it turned out I think it's a beautiful illustration and it just called out to me as the first one to be coloured so it's not just that it's on my birth month <laughs> so that was May we've then got June and this is an illustration by the wonderfully talented Selena Fennec now you will have seen her illustrations in her various colouring books 
uh, fairies and mermaids and mythical creatures. She's done loads of different colouring books and artwork online as well. Uh, and yeah, it's just gorgeous. They're all beautiful. This one is a full kind of page scene. Obviously, the one that was before that I did was a standalone image in the centre. This one's a full scene that takes up the entirety of the page. It's got what looks to be like some Roman or Greek um, columns in the background here. Obviously, probably Greek, Greek mythology, unicorns, things like that. I love the little flowers that are in the main of the unicorn. And then you've got gorgeous wings as well. Just stunning, stunning illustration. So that's June. Now we're on to July, which is this gorgeous dragon scene. It is absolutely stunning. This one is by Anne Stokes and it has this kind of mother dragon presiding over her little babies here and the hatched eggs that are around her. We've got the um, mountains in the background and more dragons breathing fire in the sky as well. So again, if you're into your fantasy, your mythology, you will adore this one. So for August, we then have an image by Zan von Zed. And this kind of reminds me of a Medusa image. I know there aren't any snake heads on it, but it does remind me of that kind of style. She is looking a little bit crafty. So whether she is going to be a really dark gothic goddess or you're going to make her a beautifully charming baby pink and blue creature, it's totally up to you what you do with her. I think she'd look stunning in some really deep burgundy and gold. So it's really up to you. But again, beautiful illustration. Now for September... We have a white stag image. So white stag did a colouring heaven issue called Misfits. And as you can see, we've got that mythology fantasy running all the way through the calendar. So this girl looks like a mermaid, even though she's got a unicorn or narwhal type horn. And then underneath she is part eel. So I think she's a mermaid or she could be a mer eel maybe that's a new kind of creation i've just thought of who knows but um all these eels around her and it's looking very gloomy under here you can imagine a kind of deep mossy green color for the water and then a beautiful purpley pink blue stormy sky going on above the water so loads of things you can do with that one we've then got october and this is you know we're well into the swing of halloween and things now so we're moving into that kind of creepy pagan um, Halloweenish type illustration and this is by Ennis Guero and I just adore it I adore it if, if you just look back at the previous one the white stag image it is quite cartoon like in style a little bit sort of anime-ish um, this one is completely different we've got very very realistic looking eyes and features to the face here and then the rest of the illustration is super sketchy and it just looks very very organic and very you know as I say just looks like it's been taken out of her sketchbook it's gorgeous we've got the pumpkins we've got the gnarled trees in the background the moon and yeah it's it's really beautiful I just love the the eyes here I think they really are the focal point of the illustration they really draw you in so November now is a Hannah Lynn illustration. As you know, I'm a massive fan of Hannah Lynn. Absolutely adore her work and you can tell it a mile off. We know this is a Hannah Lynn illustration. It's beautiful, it's charming. We've got the whimsy girl here. And what I adore about it is because we're still in um, autumn or towards the end of autumn in November, this can be your autumnal page. So her wings are actually leaves, which you could do in really rustic oranges and reds and greens and just gorgeous colours. We've got the, the basket of corn shucks here. We've got a little raccoon. We've got a deer. We've got pumpkins and a little cute squirrel down here as well. And I just, I love everything about it. You cannot go wrong with Hannah Lynn for me. And then the final illustration for December. Very, very Christmassy, beautifully festive illustration by... Let me remember Adele Lorianne. Sorry, I can't remember. I can't remember every single book, every single illustrator's name. Uh, but I did quite well, I think, didn't I? Um, so yeah, beautiful Christmas flowers. We've got a wreath here full of berries and pine cones and um holly leaves. Um, just gorgeous. We've got this little boy, little girl fairy here, he's playing the flute. Um, she's looking on kind of demurely. We've got what we, what looks like I think a mistletoe plant hanging down here. We've got the velveteen bows and, of course, the big pillar candle in the centre, which, if you do decide is a lit candle, you could definitely do some beautiful light effects on here. So you could um, 
make everything that's kind of in front of the candle or around the candle yellow on the edge maybe let me see if i can just show you what i mean so i've got what have i got here i've got a bit of a lemon yellow here that'll do so what i would do if i was doing a, a light source is i would do the yellow first all along the outside of these characters and anything that's sort of in the path of the light so the very very edges here and always do this first so you can plot where you want your color your light to be and this is what i do and then i would color the rest of it as it's meant to be colored maybe a little bit darker shadows on this side so it does look as if it's glowing but yeah that's what i do but if you do want to um look at light sources in a little bit more detail and maybe follow a video tutorial i would definitely run along to claire holloway's channel because she's done a few videos on light sources and how to achieve them and she's just the master at it so yeah that is what i would do anyway just all along these the tips of these leaves and anything where you think light would be shining and that will just give a beautiful glow to everything so there you go tip of the day use a bit of yellow for a glow so that is it that is the color in heaven calendar 2020 and i'm sure you will agree it is absolutely beautiful and every single month is gorgeous there are no fillers in this there are no duds they are all absolutely stunning so a little bit about the paper used the card is very very thick it's pure white and it does have a tooth to it so it's fantastic for pencils i'll just flip back quickly to the one that i did now i used an awful lot of layers on this with my prismacolors especially on the fabric down here because i was really trying to get the color correct um, and matching with the wings and it just took all of those layers absolutely beautifully i probably could have put a few more layers on to be honest with you it's got loads of tooth in it um and it would be perfect also for markers or alcohol markers paints wet media anything you want to throw at it but i would say that if you are using heavy stuff like that like alcohol inks do each month one by one so that you're not ruining the calendar page behind it because you'll need that and then once you're finished with the calendar once it's you know we're moving on to 2021 uh you could always break this calendar up and frame every single one of the pieces that you've coloured throughout the year totally up to you but it's an absolutely wonderful idea it is something that you can treasure forever and it's gorgeous so price wise we're looking at £14.99 I'll put the equivalent up on the screen for you guys in the US um, which I think for you know specially commissioned designs because Jenny the lovely lady who runs Colour in Heaven um, has had to get all of these illustrators together to design something special for this um, you know the production materials used as well it's all well worth 15 pounds for a year of fun so i hope you've enjoyed looking at this do let me know in the comments what you think give me a thumbs up for this video subscribe if you're new here hello um and yeah i will see you soon on color with claire